Welcome to True Wellness. So a, a center in European biological medicine, what does that mean? So many people have heard of allopathic medicine, integrative medicine, functional medicine, but if you're waiting for the best and you're curious as to why we get such great results, it's because we do biological medicine or bioregulatory medicine. And what's the difference? Well, I'll explain it really quickly. So allopathic medicine, Western medicine, has really been, they're physicians of medicine. So they learn about how to suppress symptoms. So most medical doctors, if I was a medical doctor and I had a patient walk in, they said, hi, I have high cholesterol. The doctor would say, great, here's your script for Lipitor. If I'm an integratively trained medical doctor, I will go a little step further and say, in addition to Lipitor, why don't we also give you some red yeast rice because that's great for cholesterol. That's a integrative approach. A functional approach is going to go a little step farther and they're going to say, hey, might we also look at your lifestyle and your nutrition that could be contributing to the high cholesterol? Biological medicine, bioregulatory medicine, looks at it completely differently because these are all based upon, whether it's allopathic, integrative, or functional, they're all based upon germ theory and looking at cells. They're looking at the cellular biology. We are more bacteria, fungus, and molds than we are cells. So in the biological approach, we look at the milieu or the environment of those cells. And primarily we look at two things that I don't feel that Western philosophy, functional approach at all approaches, which is the dental piece, knowing that silver fillings, root canals, cavitations, metal in our mouth and abscesses and disease in our mouth can create a systemic problem because every tooth in our mouth is related to a meridian, as well as scars. Both dental issues and scars, physical scars on the body, create blocks to allowing the innate intelligence to heal. And the biological or bioregulatory approach looks at what are the blockades to healing, address those, and then how do we upbuild the body to get that internal environment to be conducive to allowing health so that inside the cell it can perform properly because it's not surrounded with garbage. So in the biological approach, we're taking into account the dental, the emotional piece, which is 90% of all illness is emotional, and we're also taking into account the lifestyle and the cause. Biological, bioregulatory medicine asks one question foundationally, which is why? Why, if you walk into my office, do you have high cholesterol? Is it diet related? Is it that your body's not converting cholesterol into the proper hormones? Is it age related due to that factor? Is it a combination, which it always is in all honesty. It's never one thing that causes one thing. It's always multi-causational. Typically people have emotional stresses contributing to their cholesterol. Typic and we're just using cholesterol as one example. Typically they have physical attributes that are contributing to that as well, nutritional attributes. And then there's other metals, chemical stressors, scars on the physical body, immune challenges, and water, which should give us life, but often water is so toxic or isn't pure or isn't alive that it often causes our immune system to turn on and not in a good way. So the biological approach, just to review, is looking at the emotions and the dental piece and always considers the why. We want to know why the body does this so we can figure out that and allow the body to cure and heal itself. That's why biological approach gets the best results out there because we're taking it, as far as I'm concerned, many steps farther than the functional approach. Our wish to you is always the best of health.